All right, folks, welcome back to the Wild West Crypto Show. I'm Drew. I'm Brent. And we have with us a, a, one of our friends that's going to be at Litecoin Oh, Summit. yes. He's going to speak at Litecoin Summit. Yes, he is, Mr. CJ Sapong. Did I say that right? Oh, you got it. All right. Good, good. All right. Now, now CJ, you're a professional soccer player, right, who's going to be out at Litecoin Summit, who's getting into crypto space. How long have you been playing so pro soccer? Yeah, so I've been playing. I just completed my ninth season. So yeah, I'm getting some gray hairs over here, but um, <laughs> we wouldn't know about that. <laughs> great journey. Um, you know, it's it's allowed me to develop a platform to give me the opportunity to speak at cryptocurrency conferences and meet cool guys like you. So I'm definitely very blessed and, and humbled for for that journey. All right, well, we are too. We're we're gonna bring you a hat when we see you at Litecoin Summit. Okay, you're gonna have to put on a cowboy hat. Next time we interview you. Hey, CJ, one other thing is there will be the, the world championship. It's a grudge match of Indian leg wrestling between Drew and John Kim. And I assume if, if you're into Litecoin, you know John Kim. Obviously, yeah. you, you probably, uh, uh, from your response, I can tell that you don't know. Hopefully in the show, they're showing the footage right about now. <laughs> because, you know, John Kim, I'll always be running that mouth. And he's my, he's my favorite, favorite crazy Asian. And, uh, and so he wanted to do the arm wrestle. Well, you know, cowboys are smart. You know, you don't, you know, you don't with a guy with guns like his, you know, why do you want to arm wrestle? So Drew said, well, let's do the Indian leg wrestle. And of course, you know, John Kim's assuming, oh, I got him. And, uh, the old man turned him like that. <laughs> I mean, I mean, he went down like a cheap suit. Okay. And, uh, and so the grudge match is going to be, uh, uh, there at, uh, at <laughs> the Litecoin Summit. Summit. And so we probably need to have you around to kind of help officiate. And then, of course, if Drew's head can't stick back in his hat, we'll let him leg wrestle you. <laughs> That's a, I can't wait to see that. John Kim's probably doing calf raises on the side of the tongue as we speak. Well, the, 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 uh, uh, it was stated John Kim believed that he had done steroids. And we said, no, it was purely barbecue and beer. Yeah, and, right. you know, and once he got that leg in that beer position, it was, it was over. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Yep, that natural, natural country strength. He doesn't know, <laughs> doesn't know about it. Yep, that's, that's it. Right. That's it. Yeah. Hey, so CJ, what got you into cryptocurrencies? I naturally is playing, you know, during my career, I've always looked at ways to, further my knowledge um, beyond the sport and obviously look at avenues and opportunities to develop alternate sources of income. And um, Bitcoin actually, randomly, I was driving when I got traded from Kansas City to Philadelphia. This was in 2014. On my drive, I'm driving through Indiana. I'm at a random gas station and a guy in a cowboy hat, actually. Yeah. <laughs> The cowboy hat, he walked right up to me and said, man, you know, I don't usually do this, but somebody told me about this here Bitcoin, and I, I think he's on to something. And I, I looked it up. That was back when, you know, you had to go on local Bitcoins and do it peer-to-peer, -peer, and I, I just automatically was like, nah, man, this is a scam. Like, I don't trust it. And then probably late 2016, a couple of years later, just the name started popping up more and more. And I remember when I researched it that it sounded plausible. It sounded like I had a use case, but the terminology for me, you know, kind of, you know, dumb athlete. I'm like, oh, no, I'm not going to read all that. I'm not <laughs> read that. And um, once I, it started popping up again, I said, you know, let me just take the time to, to look, uh, look into it. And, you know, I bought a Bitcoin at like $600 at the time. And, I happened to get in right when the boom started. So, you know, getting those gains and getting that gratification was enough to like get me into the space. Um, but then when things dropped again, that was when I really started to educate myself because I, I still felt like there was use case and I still felt like uh, there, it was a movement. You know, you got really cool people that are part of it. Um, so yeah, that's, that's how I got, I got into it. And ever since then I, I use as much time as possible to learn more and, you know, follow guys like you and, and do things like this just to, you know, keep the, the movement moving. You know, I feel like we're our own demographic in, in the world today. And it's, it's an interesting time because I believe 
know, regardless of the mass adoption, there's still uh, a, another dimension, if you will, of people that are u- using this cryptocurrency and blockchain to bring trust, you know, to uh, back into society. Yeah, absolutely. You, you know, it's interesting. It's still small enough. And what you just said made me think of that. You know, we almost need our own little secret handshake so you know everybody's in crypto. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of those kind of, you know, one of those kind of deals, you know. Old words or something. Yeah. Well, you know, the interesting thing is, is kudos to you because, I mean, you hear about it. You know, it'd be real easy to go, coach, you know, I don't yeah. know nothing about that. I mean, so you go out and you research it. You know, okay, so you pass on it the first go around. I passed on it the first go around myself, by the way. And but then you start hearing about it and you start getting involved. I'm let me ask you a question. Do you run into many um international people that because I mean internationally cryptocurrency is much bigger than it is here in the US. Do you have any folks that you run into internationally? Yeah, I um I took a trip to the Netherlands. This was back when Expedia was accepting Bitcoin. I took yeah so i have a nonprofit in philly based on urban agriculture and i heard the netherlands was very <coughs> forward thinking the way they produce uh produce and i took a videographer i had my community outreach coordinator we bought our trips with bitcoin went to the netherlands and i mean in amsterdam many places take uh bitcoin digibyte that's how i uh, found out about Digibyte. Uh, many cafes out there accepting Digibyte and met a guy, met, met the owner of that space. He introduced me to a bunch of Euro based cryptocurrency advocates and traders. And I mean, so now, like on the WhatsApp and my Telegram, you know, I'm talking to these guys on a consistent basis. It's, it's interesting to see. You, you know, one of the things, CJ, that we tell folks, and we've been small business guys and medium business guys our whole lives. And uh, when the small business person, the mom and pops realize that they can give themselves sometimes a, you know, 10, 15, 20% raise by not paying swipe fees for Visa and MasterCard. That's when, when they fully understand what that looks like, then this whole thing. When that, that light bulb goes on, it's going to be bright. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Hey, hey, CJ, believe it or not, we burned up eight minutes. Can you believe that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, look forward to meeting you out there, and I want one of those autographs. We're gonna oh, have yeah. To, yeah. Well, and the thing is, when, when we see you in Vegas, we'll interview you again. Yeah. And, and a lot of times we'll have some interviews that are on the show and some that, that are on the website and stuff like that. But it, it was great to get to meet you and, and look forward to seeing you there at the Litecoin Summit and the big Indian wrestling uh, match. Can't wait. Folks, thanks for watching the Wild West Crypto Show. Please subscribe to us right here. And you can watch more videos right over here. Additionally, if you'll turn the little bell on, every time we upload a new and exciting video, you'll be notified. Thanks for watching the Wild West Crypto Show.